This is my first plotter. I saw it when I was um, looking for my Hobonichi in um, Loft Shibuya in Tokyo at the end of last year. Really liked it, but um, I was in there with a mission that was to get my Hobonichi. It was the last few hours of us being in Tokyo and it was a bit of a rush. And so I couldn't find anywhere to buy a plotter cover as well as the refill. And not plotter USA, not plotter Japan, none of them shipped to New Zealand. Oh, this is so lovely, this um, washi, washi tape. I might buy some from them. So I managed to find um, one at Yoseka in New York, in the US, and I bought some stuff from them before. And the only one available is in the Pueblo leather. And so in that sense, that choice was made for me. And I know I wanted brown, so it was either dark brown or light brown. And given the nature of the leather, as much as I could decipher it from the photos, um, I thought the darker brown might be more to my taste. I couldn't get all the... Um, accessories that I feel I need, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I thought I'll just start with this and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Yoseka, thank you Yoseka for making this possible for me and for making it easy. Once again, I my cough is the worst in eight years and I will be editing all of the coughs out, but if I've left some by accident, Please pardon me in advance. So we have stickers here. I need to fig I need to figure out what I will do with the stickers. I think I want them somewhere permanent instead of inside uh, journals and notebooks or on notebooks. Um, a thank you note from Yosheka. Thank you. And it truly means I will enjoy a plotter. Oh, so cute. Um, that color is pretty nice too, that ink. Um, that brown, I really quite like uh, inks with colors that's neither here nor there. You know, not quite brown, not quite orange, not quite black, not quite blue. So cute, that's Yoseka stationery. There's a symbol and another Yoseka. I think I'm going to put them on my um, Hobonichi cover, I think. So I really wanted um, not only the monthly but also a notebook and I also needed a few other things like envelopes and such but they've sold out and I can't find supply anywhere else who's willing to ship to New Zealand. Okay, I'm pretty nervous about this material, this um, leather because it wasn't my first choice. So there's some, let me just show you those. You can pause that and Pueblo, not Pueblo, Pueblo, unless it's so the same prodigious Italian tanning process as the Lischio or Lischio, I don't know, sorry if that's not how you pronounce that, has been used for the enjoyment of this leather unique and dynamic aging process. Plant tannins are used in a lengthy tanning process before soaking the leather with oils. I like that. I like the sound of that. So when I heard it was soaked in oil, I thought, look, this, this could be... Whatever it is, it should be exactly what I like usually in leather. Especially for this process, harnessing the leather natural characteristic bring individual variation in color that is particular to each binder. The surface is intentionally distressed during finishing process to make the pile lay flat. Bring out striking luster, highlight the natural beauty that develop over long term. So I'm thinking that this might be a bit like this, which is a the crazy horse. So I am wondering if it's more like this. You see there? Um, yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. I'm actually really nervous because um, after shipping and currency conversion, the usual story, you know, it's not, it's not the most economical. It's not the most... So the one that I thought I wanted was this one here. The, um, this one here, the classic smooth, um, traditional forchetta or faqueta leather. So this one is also oiling. So no effort is spared when oiling. So it's oil, but it's flat. And I actually much prefer this. So if I like, if I, uh, if the plotter system works for me, because before Hobonichi, uh, for years ago, my only planner in my whole life has been um, Filofax. And I feel that this might be a good combination between Filofax and Hobonichi. I'm not sure. So this is the Bible size. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. No, that's perfect. That is exactly um, as I expected it to feel and look like having a photo that is clear enough and <clears throat> the description um, close enough to show how the leather might look like is really important because predictability is manage our expectation, you know. So this is, right, beautiful box. Let's have a look. Um, so I am really in need of, I think I also ordered, oh no, I ordered a couple of other accessories from Etsy separately. Of course, that's additional shipping costs, but what are you going to do, you know? So when that arrived, I will put them all together. I think it, there's a, a strap thingamajig and a couple of other things, um, but I, I had to resort to that. Um, to complete a bare minimum of what I need for my first plotter. I actually also need just a notebook, just an empty page, which I can't find, not in this size anyway. So apparently Filofax has refills that can fit the plotter Bible size, but they're not the same type of paper. And um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is very, very promising. Um, I suppose it goes from front to, well, you know what I mean, like the, the Japanese way? I don't know. You know what I mean, like from here to here? Or is it? Is it? So there's I'm um, empty there. And then there's the, okay, so it's not, let me, th let me think. I'm new to this, as I said. Okay, okay. To the days over there okay this is 2025 i was wondering if we have to no this is 2025 okay um the the way the layout hobonichi is very hard to beat for me so the way this is laid out i'm not sure just visually speaking aesthetically speaking it's hobonichi is still in my mind it's it's still better uh, how do you open this? Do you open this like this? Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can see why they say it's really delicate. Um, it's so delicately small. And um, yeah, they say it's... But it's... Oh, hold on a second. Let me just... Sorry, I'm quite excited. So I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, uh, should I put this in here? Do I want this here? What's going on here? What am I doing here? What is this? Um, okay, I think I, I'm going to put this promotional material out of the way. <sighs> yeah, I mean, these are lovely, but I'm going to, I think, just to, okay. Right, so that's the back. Okay, um, what is this? Okay, I'll take this out as well. Um, I'll leave this here for now. Oh yeah, there's like an enforced padding here. So I bought that, I bought the strap, and I think... I can't remember, it was like three things. So, oh, very delicate, I could see, yeah, very delicate. So I'll put this in the box. 
Where's the box? Let's put the stickers in here as well for now. Okay, so oh, this one also. This is this is promising. It's promising. So this this could be a new system for me, but we'll see. A review will come, of course, at the end of twenty twenty five. Um, this is the Bible size. So this is the weeks. This is the Bible size on the right. Um, should I compare it with the Hobonichi A six? That's the A6. So this is... So what is a Bible size? I don't know. Is this the size of a B6 maybe? I don't know. So A6, Bible plotter. Weeks, Hobonichi. Plotter, Bible size. Mm. A6, Bible size, plotter. A6, plotter, Bible size. I'm curious why they call it Bible size instead of something else. So yeah, this is... Um, whoop. Oh, okay, so this is... I think I have to... It doesn't... Okay, right, it's not attached, so that's again out, I guess. Um, let me check the construction is... Right, so this... Let me give you a closer look. So this whole metal here is clipped into like... So, on the leather, you see that? So, uh, this fastening here. So, that's fastened, I guess, on that. Do you see that? Do you see that clip there? I don't know if it's fastened here. So, really, the whole um, metal is fastened by a uh, clip here not a clip what do you call it like a stud and a stud here is that it i'm not sure anyway so yeah that's it one more view and it's going to be with oil with hand it's um the other color is this kind of color I think I might prefer uh, this type of patina to be on smooth natural leather rather than brushed leather like this. I think this is the underside of a full grain leather, of a single grain leather. Um, this is the thickness. So, I don't know. Yeah, if, if you know, let me know. Um, so it looks like this might be a single grain leather after all that's been brushed to look like this uh, to patina faster as well as to be more scratch resistant and to give that more rustic worn out look that some of us like. So it looks like this is um, the right choice of leather even though it wasn't my first choice but for plotter I think this is the right choice for me. The brass as well is um, the hardware, I mean, is solid brass. There's been colored gold and rose gold that will wear out into brass eventually. Okay, I'll come back with when the accessories all arrived and I'll set it up. Bye.